to my channel you can call me new if you didn't already know and in today's video we're gonna be doing an unboxing no we're gonna be cleaning out the refrigerator and organizing it and right now we're gonna unbox some of the stuff that i got from amazon to hopefully help me get the refrigerator nice and organized the way i like it and i also got a couple of things that supposedly is gonna help keep the fruits and vegetables fresh longer we're gonna have to test that out. I actually just bought some fruit today to see like how long is it gonna last. So let's go ahead and start by unboxing everything. This package I already opened because it had something else in it that I needed out. But this is one thing that I got. This, oh yeah, I'm excited for that. This is the storage containers. That's for fruit and vegetables. It doesn't really show it on here. Oh, I guess it kind of does. It's freezer safe, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, leak proof, and it has a bunch of different sizes. Y'all know I don't use my dishwasher, so I don't care about that. I don't see why I would be putting this in the microwave, but I mean, maybe you'll use it for something else. It comes in a bunch of different sizes. This big, big one, I plan on using for like lettuce. I think it should hold it. I don't, I have lettuce, but not like a lettuce head or any like parts that I could put it in, but this is the size. I'll show you the comparison to the biggest size and the small size. I mean, that's good that they all stack together. So if you're not using it, the storage would be easier. I'm trying to get to the smallest one and it's inside, 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 inside. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dang, that's really small. Okay. The smallest size one. What in the world? I'm not there yet. What are you going to use that for? Oh my gosh. What are you... <laughs> what are you using this for? This is the smallest one. This is the biggest one. And there's sizes in between. So you can see like, yeah, this will be perfect. I think for lettuce, like I said, it's like the perfect size. I don't know what you would use this for. So I have this one, this is the next one. I think this one, I'm gonna try to put blueberries in here, some strawberries in here. really tiny one just doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> but what you can't see is that the white basket has handles which is kind of cool so that's nice so you can just hold it like that but it also has little feet so that it's not completely flush down on the bottom of this it is lift it up just a bit so that's good for like air circulation it's not completely closed all the way to the edge again for that airflow is pretty nice we're gonna go ahead and unbox this one okay so this is just regular regular containers no lids they do have handles on the sides they do have a little bit of like small raised up bottom so they're not completely flat this is just so i can put in like my yogurt cups which i forgot to get and my fruit cups that i like and i only needed maybe two three maybe but it came in a six pack so obviously i'm gonna keep it i think i might use them up in the pantry as well if i need to if i have the extra but very simple nice and clear so you can see what's inside the only thing as far as like me put in a fruit cup i think i'm gonna have to like put them sideways instead of stacking them up which is not a big deal but i did want to get the yogurt cup so i could see if it like can fit well now this one as you can see, is an adjustable refrigerator soda can organizer. Uh, I don't drink soda, 
but I do drink, or I usually have it in the refrigerator. I don't always drink it, but for guests and stuff, I have sparkling water or salsa water that comes in a can. And then actually more recently, I just had some white claw. I purposely, some of them, obviously they got drank up by other people and myself, but there's some left, so I wanna see if it'll fit in this because it's adjustable. So obviously a regular can is about, you know, whatever height this is, and the white claw can is skinnier and it's taller. Are you kind of have to assemble this? I didn't know that. Man, I don't want to do that. Not right now, I don't. Okay, so yes, and the reason why, because I, I was looking and looking and looking, I picked this one because it adjusts. So water bottles, cans and stuff, they're all different sizes, but it also is tilted. So they'll roll down and I really, really like that. I mean, it's only three steps. All right, three steps we can do. This is the size for standard cans and if your cans are a little bit bigger or your bottles, you just, it's in the back here, you can see that it's, you just adjust it as so. So it's not a hard installation, but I just, I didn't know I had to put it together. And that's the completed rack. So there's a hole down here. So when you're putting in the cans, it'll roll down. Once you take it from here, drop down and roll. So you don't have to do anything. You don't have to grab or reach or pull them up forward. When you take it, they'll come forward. Okay, so I'm finding with the adjustments, you just have to make sure it's level. You can't have it flexing up or down too far. It, it kind of has to be like straight. That's why it's not like smooth every single time. But once you have it set, that's kind of going to be it. And if you need to close it, you're good. So this, I believe, is just a Lazy Susan for inside the refrigerator. I don't know if like all of them, like the ones that you can find at like Home Goods, I guess Walmart, but usually I find them at like Home Goods and TJ Maxx. Are those okay to go in the refrigerator? But these specifically are for the refrigerator, but you can also use them in the cabinets as well. And it came in a two pack. I don't remember what the size was, but if I could find it on the description, I'll add it somewhere on the screen. Okay. No, okay, it already comes together. So you already know what a Lazy Susan is. If you don't, basically, it is just this circular device that allows you to spin. Usually people have like seasonings and stuff like that. Over here, you can just spin it around to get to it instead of having it dig through all your stuff but this like i said is for the inside of the refrigerator so i plan on having like my jarred stuff on here open jar of spaghetti sauce usually some salsa i'll have open anything like that i'll probably put here and i probably will end up using both of them okay now this one i'm so excited because i already have two of these i don't think it's the same exact shape but I want to say it was from the same seller. I like this one because it has the silicone base to it. So that way when you're putting it in the refrigerator, you're not hitting it down because it is glass, if I didn't mention that already. Or when you go to put it on the counter, especially when you go to put it down, it's not just hitting. You still want to be careful, obviously, but it's just not, it's not hitting glass to granite or glass to glass or glass to your plastic shelves and damaging it or causing it to crack so that's like good protection obviously yes it does come off so you can wash it and this one is i believe 68 ounces it comes with a, a brush as well i never use this i believe the other ones came with it too but i just use my sponge but this, it's nice that it's there oh and it also has 
a regular pour, but then it also has like a strainer side. And I wanna say I said this in like my moving vlog, but if you like are making sangria, you just have like some lemon water and you have the fruit pieces in there, but you obviously don't want it in your drink. You just put it on this side so it'll just pour out the liquid and hold back any of the solids. I think this is the last thing. So this is my egg container. I already have clear egg holders, but it's the, the tops that just lift up that you have to take on and off. This actually has drawers. And it's way smaller, which is funny because these two together hold 40 eggs and mine held 42, but it's two separate units and it was still way bigger. Or did they put the drawer in upside down? Yeah, they got me confused. Hold on, why y'all do that? I'm trying to confuse me. I wanna say that on the description or from the reviews, people were saying that this is for the date. It's not gonna tell you what month, so I don't understand. But to let you know like when it expires or so, I'm not gonna use this at all, I don't think. I usually just take tape and write the date and just put it on the side so it's discreet. But I know, because obviously once you throw away the container, you don't know what the date is for the expiration. I like this too, because I can also put something on top of this. So like I said, my other containers, I couldn't do that. I could stack them on top of each other, but if I needed to get to the other container or get to the top one, I'd have to remove whatever's on top to take off the top to get the eggs. With this one, I can put something on top, but still get to my eggs as well. I'm excited for all of this. Yeah. All right, now let's go clean out the refrigerator and see how this all fits. If it fits, if it works, let's go. This is the difference between the ones that I have already. And this is the new ones. I'm still keeping these, like I said. So usually what I do is I pour the one gallon bottles of water and I just split it between these two and then I fill up my Keurig. Then I fill up my ice tray with the extra. This, using these two, I'll be able to just fill it up and just that. And this also has the measurements on it where this one doesn't. Again, I don't really care about that, but it is helpful, I'm sure. And this one does the same things where it has the regular spout and then the strainer. If they still have this one, I'll link this one below, as well as these and everything else. So this is the difference that I was talking about with the egg holders. For one, these are not the same. I just saw the tops with like these lines on it, and I thought they were, but they're not. This just makes it so much easier because you could just pull it out, grab the eggs, and stack something on top if you need to. I don't even know if I'm saying that, but just in case I do, I can put something on top. Here, I definitely can't. She was in shock when we talked to her. You think she'll remember more details? I doubt it. Her head CT and MRI are clear, no sign of infection. <laughs> In a dangerous mood, can you match my time? Mm -hmm. Telling me that you really put it what you're hiding. Talk is cheap, so show me that you understand how I like it. Can you blow my mind? Set off my whole body if I give you my. We're gonna start from the drawer, I think. 
I don't have my yogurt cup, so just throw it down. And I don't want to keep opening this up. I'm just going to empty this stuff out. And I'll bring you guys closer. But it's like the cheese, some of the vegetables, and yeah, cheese and like deli stuff. And that's where I think I'm going to keep that stuff. But I don't really have an organizer for that except for those. So yeah, come on. gosh it fits this way stop yes that's what i'm talking about it obviously will fit this way too but the fact that it fits oh i'm going crazy all right i love it i probably won't put the meats and the cheese together but for now it's fine yeah buddy <laughs> so i think what i'll do is put another one in here and Put the meat on one side and then like the cheeses and stuff here. So it's just my sliced cheese, some feta cheese, and then if I have like shredded cheese, it'll just go there. Ooh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right, next drawer. So I'm basically, I'm just going to put this stuff up here because I don't want to take it out the refrigerator, but I need to take it out of here. And while I'm doing this, if it doesn't work, I'm just going to switch it up. So, let's just take these fruit cups. Girl, do I have enough fruit cups or what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't be bad, strawberries. I just got you. Ew. Hmm. I can't touch the strawberries because it's mold on it. I'm taking these right back to Target. Gonna get my money back. Right. Just go rinse this out and then we're good. And I'm just gonna wipe off the top shelf of that. Alright, I gotta research if there's a difference because this drawer doesn't have any vents, but this one does. So like should the fruits and vegetables be in this drawer? Does that matter or... Let me look that up real quick actually. Okay, so even though I'm going to have the fruits inside of the containers that I have, they should still be in this vented shelf and I can't switch them. So I'm so silly. So I guess this stuff is just going to be higher. I'm just used to the fruits being a little bit higher, but okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put these inside the container then put them in here then wash the grapes and the blueberries and put those in the container and also put those in here. Strawberries going back. Because this is what I was saying that it doesn't, it's not gonna be able to fit side to side like this. I might be able to like flip it like that. I don't like that. This is okay. This isn't bothering me too much. They're gonna have to get mixed, and that's okay with me. I can tell the difference, so. I just feel like it's wasted space if I stagger it just so they could fit standing up. Like there's so many, there's so much space right here and there.
Okay, so if the strawberries weren't moldy, I would have put it in the container and probably put it in front of the grapes where the blueberries are and then stack the blueberries on top or vice versa, put the strawberries here, whatever, but just so that they were all here. But since they moldy, they going back. Okay, so for this shelf right here, I always have my eggs on the bottom shelf. And according to that chart, that's right. But next to it, I'm actually gonna have that rolling stand for the water bottles and the soda cans. Or not soda cans, but like my sparkling water cans and that like white claw. That's gonna be next to it. But now I'm looking at it and like my refrigerator is very like narrow. So I'm like, oh crap, I hope it fits because that drawer for the, the water bottles expands if I need it to. So let's just see if that fits first. So this is gonna be for the eggs. Okay, so it it fits. That's not as wide as it can go, but will the cans fit? Let's see. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> Alright, so that fits. Obviously then a smaller can will fit. But a bottle won't be able to. Now I have two and I can probably put it somewhere else. But for now, we'll, we'll get back to that. And for size reference, these are large eggs. I'm just gonna alternate the white claw the sparkling water. Okay, so before I move on to the doors on the inside, all I have left is the top shelf. And according to that chart, it's supposed to be for leftovers. And actually, I kind of came up with like my own seating chart. And I did actually have like meal preppy leftover stuff at the top as well. And I actually do have something left over. So let me see if it'll even fit because of this thing right here. I don't know if it'll close. Some big ZD. Oh, it closes. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, cool. There's nothing. I didn't buy anything specifically for the door, only because like I, I thought about getting some clear containers. For this and I don't want to say oh I'm not gonna do that I'm not doing that right now I don't feel like I need to 
I can still see it. The purpose of me having clear things is so I can see the levels to know that I clearly need to get some more food. So I don't think I need to do that with the sauces, although yes, it does look cuter that way. For now, I'm not, it doesn't bother me. But I am just gonna organize it a little bit, wipe it down, and that's pretty much it. Can you snatch my soul from it? I think that might be it. I, I know I'm missing like a few things because I need to go grocery shopping, but I'm gonna make it work. I'm not gonna sit there and sacrifice like, oh, it has to be like this every single time. And when I have more food, it's like, okay, well, it doesn't fit, it can't go. No, the food is gonna fit, okay? This is cute for a little bit and I will try to maintain it. But again, I'm not gonna sacrifice getting some food in there versus actually creating that look. Alright y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. Let me know if you like this video. Leave a like with your thumbs. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how did you like the organizational tools and bins that I use. Is this something that you would use for your refrigerator? Obviously everyone's refrigerator is a little bit different in size and style, so you might not need a certain thing or you do need it, but you just don't need as many. And don't forget to subscribe. Also comment down below and let me know if you would like to see me do a like organization makeover for my pantry. Because that thing, it's not that it's a mess, it's just, it could use it could use a little retouch for sure. But I thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a great day, night, week, weekend, whenever you are watching this. And I will see you in the next video.